Smile. Come on. <laughs> Please. Smile for me. And smile for yourself. But are you truly happy? I'm telling you to smile. But are you really smiling from the heart? Or because I can tell you to do so. Are you happy? Are you happy right now? Are you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. First, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and why I'm not happy? Because I'm going to tell you about a little about myself. So this is from a fairy tale. Snow White. There's a, there's a queen. She constantly asks in the mirror, magic mirror on the wall, this is the fairest of them all. And the mirror says, ah, it's you. It's you. But, in the house, what, what does this mean? What does it mean that, what does it mean that if you are the most beautiful woman in the world, what does it mean that you are the most handsome guys in the world? Does that mean anything to you? No. It only means like, okay, you are handsome. Like, physically. But what I am looking for is, what I am looking for, when I look myself in the mirror, I want to look inside my heart. I want, I want to understand myself. Who am I? Who am I? So I figured it out when I look in the mirror. There is a most vulnerable soul that is crying for help. I'm on board. Okay, Alex, you gotta speak up. You gotta speak up, please. You're 22 years old. You're not a child. No one is gonna take care of you. You gotta speak up for your career. Speak up for yourself. And why am I like using the mirror? Because the first, this is my second quarter. When I was in the first quarter, I was very, very shy. Like, I. Because I think my accent is a problem, so I don't speak out a lot. But every time I went home, I look in, I look in the mirror. I was like, Alex, you suck. You gotta speak up. What's, what's the problem? What's, what's the deal with that? So that's why I'm using the new technology. I wanna see my weakness, the most weakness in myself. Like, And since I have found my weakness, I'm going to do something to protect it, to get, you know, to prevent it, to get, it, to get hurt. So I put on axe and mask. It's like, like, Kato. Uh, <laughs> so I know I have an axe. So. I'm not able to express well when I say stuff. So in first quarter, I was set on the, I was set at the back of the world every time, and then I don't raise my hand. And then when the professor called on my name, my blood pressure increases, and then my heart rate increases because I don't know what's what's gonna happen. And when I put on this mask, I feel like okay, this is something to protect from. Me. There's something protecting me. But is it true? It's not it's not my it's not true self. It's not a true self. It's like I'm kinda of like getting away from my weakness. I'm not facing it. So these are two quotes I will not share with you. So I wouldn't say one is easier or more difficult, but when you are inside the cotton or mask, you have to do it even often difficult scene. So that's how I feel last quarter. I'm wearing this mask. I couldn't see my true self, I only can see you guys. But I couldn't see myself. And then I feel like I have, so the second sentence, there was a public person now, a private person now. I feel like I'm in school. I'm a different outlet. But when I am back home speaking Mandarin, 
and not out. So this this, this little confluence in here, I, I wasn't feel um, I wasn't feel comfortable. So so today I want to tell you I'm sharing my most fear in my heart to you, and then I'm going to prove to you that I can do this. I can do public speaking then for, for, for a reason because I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a good chiropractor in the world and in order to do that I figured out I have bad communication I have bad speaking skills so this is the reason why I'm here and I'm going to take off this mask and share this sentence I create better myself so serve so better others. I'm not sure I'm, I don't know if this makes sense but that means in order to serve your patients in the future in order to convey better in order to convey better you have to understand yourself first mm -hmm. because what you bring what you bring to the patients is who you are. Yeah, and I'm honored to have him in the club. He's such a powerful speaker. 